What's good, my Neezys? Welcome back to Life of Keezy. Let me get that focus right. Oh, first things first. Make sure you guys smash that like button for the kid. Get that algorithm juking for the boy, man. I need that love, man. And uh, if you haven't already, subscribe. And play with that notification bell a little bit, man. It goes a long way. All right, man. So today, well, this video <laughs> is uh, our first road game of the season, man. We're playing uh, Dynamo Sassari, which is always one of the top teams in Italy. Uh, one of the top teams in Europe, uh, actually, you know, for the past few years. Um, they always have a good team. Uh, so it's going to be a tough game, man. So I'm going to take you guys with us on the road. It's currently 4.54 in the morning, man. We're on a, about to get on the road early. We got a real early flight. Sassari is in the south um, on an island called Sardinia, which is a really, really beautiful island in the south of Italy. So we have to fly. We're in the northeast. So we have uh, two flights, actually, to get there. Um, and it's in the same country. Crazy. So we got a long day, man. But we about to get this day uh, going, man. Appreciate you guys for joining me again, man. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let's go. I don't even hold you, nigga. Tight, tired. There's our team bus. So we got the team name on the side of the MOOC. Polyconestro Trieste. Our arena in the back is dark as hell. Ain't even no point in showing y'all that. Team Doctor. No. Child Doc. <sighs> My young boy Tommy. I mean, sick as dark as hell. What's up, bro? What's up? Oh, y'all sleepy, sleepy. as hell, man. God damn. I ain't even need to turn the lights on. It's almost zero point. And we recording right now because motherfuckers is tired. So I'm going to get it y'all when we get to the airport. Alright, my Neezy. So, we're in the airport now. You know, it's too dark on the bus to show you guys anything. Uh, finally sat down, got through security and everything. It's crazy. They had to sign some waivers and a bunch of shit. This is the first time I've traveled since COVID, like, since COVID, you know. So, for you guys who watch my videos, you guys know I live in Italy now. I have a home in Italy, so I, I haven't been back to the States um, since uh, August of 2019. So, this is the first time I've traveled. And we're at the airport now. I had to give me some breakfast with my guy Tommy. Uh, but uh, but yeah, it's crazy. So we can't even wear these masks. They have everybody wearing the, you know, the the little bullshit little mask. Uh, the ones that everybody have, the little blue mask. So now we have to buy those, which in my opinion are less safe because there are so many openings on those like it doesn't really close anywhere um but we gotta get those now so we can get on the plane um like i told you before we're traveling to sardinia we have a layover in rome uh, it's gonna be a long day man it's early as fuck <laughs> like it's early as fuck and uh <laughs> we're hearing this uh in this airport, but I'm about to get this breakfast in. Got these little apple, little fritter type joints and some orange juice. Um, nigga stomach on E. Probably need to buy like some little snacks or something too. But yeah, man. Here we at. Just where we at. Uh, so, get ready to board our flight. I hope ain't nobody on this motherfucker, man, so they can get some good sleep, stretch out a little bit. But the plane type little, I ain't gonna hold you. These are the new masks they had to give us 
because they say we couldn't wear our other ones. What's the difference? I have no fucking clue, but they had to give them to us, so here we are. Niggas that made it to, to Rome. We got a little layover. So my teammates wanted to talk they shit. <laughs> niggas hey gonna man. freeze up on the camera when the camera come out. See what the niggas talk about. The worst part about traveling, man, it's right here. <laughs> you know about the overseas life? This is the overseas life. Dead ass. It was crazy though that this ain't even the worst it could be. It could be so much worse, but this shit is, is way too early, man. Way too early. My man Tay, to old boy. They lucky I can chill, or else I'd be in one of these stores right now getting my shop on. You know, I'm a big shopper, nigga. Big Louis V. I can't even. I'm mad I came over here. I'm gonna have to go in there now and seen it. Bugali, Versace. Yeah, I'm about to slide in the Louis V, see what they got up in there. I got a going out here. I definitely need a coat. Yeah, after what happened to your last one. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. I don't even know what gate we at. Hey, y'all know what gate we at? Nope, follow them. So I'm trying to slide in the Louis V real quick, man. See what they got going on. Damn, they got the whole, the whole new, uh... Hold on, what day we got? Hey? 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 I'm about to slide in Louis V real quick, man. Let me get touched. Let me get touched. Let me get touched. So, yeah, man. I don't even know what time our next flight, our next flight is. Niggas just want to go to sleep, nigga. That was some comfortable as fuck on that plane. Nigga about tired as hell. But yeah, sir. Our man's Mike, he not with us this trip. Nigga done broke his big toe. That boy done stole his big toe. <laughs> My nigga Mike, bro. Mike a goofy ass nigga. Y'all like Mike, man. That nigga, that nigga goofy. But uh, yeah, one of our teammates, that nigga bro, uh, got a little fracture on his toe yesterday in practice. On his big toe. Shit crazy. At the end of practice, though. Towards the end of practice, nigga fucked his damn toe up. Now he can't play. Yeah, I heard 9.20. 9.20, what time is it now? We got a nice little minute. Yeah, they got folks. Hey, Carl, you want to say something to the camera? Ciao. Is it enough? That's enough. That's sufficient. So, we're getting ready to board our second flight to Sardinia. It's a little raining a little bit outside, but uh, nothing too crazy. Hopefully this flight ain't rocky like the last one was. The last one was another thing. Last flight, that motherfucker was heavy with the turbulence, man. Nigga was type nervous, I ain't gonna hold you. Big nervous. But uh, Sardinia, like I told you, it's an island, so we're flying over a lot of water, so hopefully it ain't shaky, man. But uh, yeah, they get tired, dog. Hopefully, I can get a little sleep on this next flight. Cause we got practice. You know what time we got practice? Three thirty. But are you recording your memories? No, no, YouTube. Ah, YouTube. <laughs> I thought you were tired. Like, <laughs> but yeah, we got practice three thirty. So that's pretty much a little bit after we arrive. We got practice. So, um, hopefully I'll get some sleep. I'll get this y'all when we land, man. Alright, so, we finally here. 
The most convenient thing about playing in Sasori is that the hotel is literally right across the street from the gym. So the gym is right there. Here's the hotel. One of the trashiest hotels that you will stay at if you ever play in Syria, in Syria, Italy, is this hotel right here. <laughs> it's a league renowned for being the worst. Food is trash, hotel is trash. You will see. Y'all will see soon enough. Like I wish I was gassing, but I'm really not. If you ask any player who's played in Italy, what's the worst hotel? Sastri's hotel will be top two at the minimum. But y'all see soon. Alright, so you can literally look at the key. Uh 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 and tell this motherfucker about to be some trash. Mm -hmm. Like come on man. It's like some motel six type shit. It's a little better than it was before, I ain't gonna hold you. Because usually, what it is is that we share, we share rooms on the road. But uh, because of COVID, we got our own rooms now. So it's not as bad as it was before. Slightly better. But still some bullshit. <laughs> but uh, what time is it? We got um, we got lunch in an hour and a half. Since the nigga had to be up at four thirty this morning to for travel, I'm about to take a nap. I'm tired as shit. I'm not gonna hold you. I'm hungry, but I'm tired as fuck. I pray that they got their food together in the last year because when I tell you before this shit was trash like like motherfucker would walk and go try to find some food like it was that bad but uh, we'll see so see you guys later man <sighs> two hours later So this what we working with, man. Potatoes with no seasoning, spinach with nothing on it, Some cauliflower with nothing on it, green beans. <laughs> yeah, what? That's why they be beating people. They be yeah, boy. Damn, it's raining, raining outside. Oh damn! Let me get, let me get a full look of other spread. A bunch of B ass by. That's why they be winning. That's what they say. Get the video niggas be eating when they come here. Oh no. I don't know what that is. Fish head on the boot. You enjoying it, Dobby? Tastes good. Fish head on the boot. No, sir, not me.
Yeah, I'm about to get this good practice in, man. Big game tomorrow. Yeah, I'm trying to think I'm down to win a game here since, since I've been in Italy. So, definitely got to get that win tomorrow, man. Got to come out strong. A decent size arena, but it's old as shit. But when this mug is packed, it be jumping. Hopefully, tomorrow's not going to be packed because of COVID. If you guys didn't know, you know they're only letting a percentage of uh, of fans come to the gym for games, depending on your gym size. Um, you know, you can have up to a thousand players, I mean, up to a thousand fans, depending on the size of your gym. You know, we got a big gym. It's like uh, 7,500, so we can have a thousand. I think this one might be able to be, you might be out a thousand fans in here, but we'll see, man. We're about to get practice going, man. I'll get it you guys later. Tomorrow for sure. Next day, <laughs> as you can see, um, we had a shoot around this morning. Then we had a film session, uh, which is pretty much the, who shit, the game day routine. As you can see, some yawn, I'm a little tired. So it's about that time, nap time. All right. I used to not be one who took naps. Like, uh, I never used to take naps. I used to be up, like, jacked for the game. Now, I'd just be up sitting in, my, sitting in my hotel room or whatever, jacked. But uh, getting a little older, man. I'm 31 years old, man. I need a little power nap. So now I'm about to take a nap, wake up. Uh, what I usually do before the game, I always take a hot shower, uh, wake up, activate these muscles, and... um and then uh, it's game time, man. It's time to get after it. I'm not sure yet if I want to go from here, straighten the game highlights, or if I want to talk to you guys a little bit before the game. I'm not sure. I'm going to show you like my... I don't know. Okay, let's just go. We're going to figure it out. Re Benzius vuole andare in avvicinamento sfruttando il mismatch, poi di nuovo spazio per Spissu che realizza subito dall'arco il pallone frontale per Clusin, adesso in fiducia, ancora a segno. Poi prova a attaccare Fernandez, c'è spazio nell'angolo ancora per la Quintana, la lacrima di Tommaso la Quintana. Ci prova ancora Stefano Gentile, attacca la Quintana, palleggio, arresto, tiro, gran canestro di Stefano Gentile. Per Fernandez da tre punti, il tiro è cortissimo, il rimbalzo di Benzius, la palla nelle mani di Alviti che prende il rimbalzo, sbaglia due volte e poi il tocco di Ida Ross. Poi si ferma e Spissulo in direttamente lo batte in transizione, legge là, lo scarico per Benzius, per Trieste l'opportunità di tornare anche sotto il possesso di distanza, Fernandez alza la parabola, il ferro ancora viene baciato e lo aiuta, Todoi lo scarico per Darossi in qualche modo, ma viene intercettato di nuovo Barnella, tutto campo! Inchioda con il fallo Jason Barnell, che spettacolo! Secondo Milton Doyle, ancora un errore, questa volta il rimbalzo di La Quintana, c'è spazio in angolo per Doyle, da tre punti si sblocca in questa ripresa Milton Doyle. Il taglio dentro di Doyle, che movimento nel cuore dell'area! 50-48, rimane il punteggio, questa volta Spissu cambia marcia con la sua mano sinistra. Prova a rispondere al fuoco, Fagia Fujica da tre punti. 
già sei volte non è riuscita a mettere la testa avanti vediamo se quella giusta non lo è per l'errore ma poi arriva il canestro di Alviti la magia di Udano a rimbalzo Sassari, Milan, Pugica, c'è spazio per Spistu che non ha paura ma sbaglia Barnell con il tapin volante Palleggio, arresto, tiro, l'americano sbaglia, si lotta a rimbalzo, la prende Udano Può provare ad andare fino alla fine Trieste, Doyle si prende la responsabilità Milton Doyle, la tripla del campione Prova ad attaccare subito Spissu c'è spazio per Bilan che non riceve, si butta dentro, Gentile fa saltare l'avversario, Stefano Gentile sbaglia, si lotta al rimbalzo, vince l'Allianz Trieste, Gentile ha tirato per la vittoria, Pozzecco deve andare a con... What's good, my nieces? As you can see, we got the dub. Your boy was booty. <laughs> I ain't gonna hold you. I was trash. Last three minutes of the game, though, came up big defensively. And uh, this type of win, it, coming into the season, you really gonna need, man. It was a good team win. You know, everybody played hard. Motherfucker was tired, but continued to play through it, man. Made some big plays down the stretch. It was just a good team win, man. I don't have anything else to say about it, really. Motherfuckers played their ass off, man. It was. You know, it wasn't the best conditions. The refs tried to give it to him at the end. I ain't gonna hold you. They caused some bullshit down towards the end of the end of the game, but we still figured it out, man. Got the dub. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Before you get up out of here, make sure you smash that like button for the kid. Oh, y'all ain't see that. The kid is married. Damn. See the rose gold on the mook? Big Tiffany. Yeah. Yeah, that's new. <laughs> but uh, before you get up out here, make sure you got smash that like button, man. Um, if you haven't already, subscribe. And uh, play with that notification bell a little bit, man. It goes a long way. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. I'm out. Peace.